And over the weekend, a man was arrested near a Trump rally in California and charged with carrying illegal guns. Our chief justice correspondent, Pierre Thomas, is tracking that story. Good morning, Pierre. Rebecca, good morning. The fact that the suspect was arrested near the rally with guns and ammunition has caused a commotion. But this morning, there are questions as to whether the man posed a real threat to Trump. This morning, federal authorities are looking into the background of a man arrested at a security checkpoint near a Trump rally with a loaded handgun, shotgun, ammunition, and fake documents, including several passports found in his vehicle. What we do know is he showed up with multiple passports with different names, an unregistered vehicle with fake license plate, and loaded firearms. But then Miller, 49, was released on $5,000 bond and is charged on misdemeanor gun offenses. Sources telling ABC News that so far the investigation has not turned up evidence of Miller making threats against Trump, which may explain why he's been released. We reached out to Miller and are awaiting a response. A reporter at the press conference told the sheriff she had been in contact with Miller, who told her the accusations are BS and suggested he was a Trump supporter and had credentials to be at the rally. Election documents reviewed by ABC News confirm Miller ran for office as a Republican in Nevada. But in the current threat environment, law enforcement is running down leads out of an abundance of caution. Miller is described by authorities as a sovereign citizen, a far-right group that does not believe the authority of the federal government. The Secret Service and the FBI said they are aware of the incident, but the Secret Service claims that Trump was not in any danger. The incident took place at an outer perimeter, a quarter mile outside of the rally, and Trump had not yet arrived. Robin. All right, Pierre, as always, appreciate your reporting.